Hello, everybody. My name is Joe Brunkops, and I am going to be going over my project, which is um, finding the best uh, solar sites for um, California, San Luis Obispo County, um, and Diablo Canyon uh, power plant area. So basically what that means is I'm looking for areas that would be um, best for installing a large um, solar farm, much like the one um, just north of Cal Poly, the, the Gold Tree Solar Farm. So that's kind of what you can imagine in your mind when I'm talking about it. Um, so basically I started out with California and I combined um, photovoltaic potential data along with wind speed data and um, transmission line data to create this map here, um, which ranks different areas uh, based on their suitability. Um, so as you can see, Slow County is right around here. Um, and it all has, the whole county has high suitability. Um, so that is good. And from there I said, okay, so what inside Slow County um, can we, you know, where can we put um, solar farms? So then I, I uh, found this, I found this website. It's actually a government website called Repowering the US, I think. Um, but basically it takes, it, it has a database of sites that are um, like, Superfund sites, ex, ex military sites, basically um, land that no one really wants to use or that's been like damaged in some way. So I found all those sites in Slow County. Um, and then I further narrowed, narrowed them down using um, other parameters like distance from transmission lines uh, and, you know, whether they were suitable for. Um, for PV systems. And I basically turned this map into this map with just the four optimal locations. Um, one of which you can see is a Diablo Canyon power plant right around here. So um, then I said, okay, I'm gonna look closer into Diablo Canyon power plant um, and determine what what parts of the power plant would be best for solar since it's a pretty mountainous area. Um, and this is the map I got from this using the aerial solar radiation tool. Um, yeah, basically all this, all this in red is um, good areas for solar. Uh, but this is kind of a hard map to use since it's all um, on a, you know, kind of sliding scale. So then I made a Boolean raster of that in this final map. Um, and all these areas in red are areas that are both um, close to transmission lines and uh, have um, optimal solar potential. So um, that's pretty much the uh, elevator pitch for my project. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, hopefully it could be useful to somebody in the future.